Well, thanks for joining us. My name is Dan Kara. I'm a VP of Robotics at WTWH Media, and I'm joined today with Steve Crow, Senior Editor of The Robot Report, also at WTWH Media. We're here today to speak about the Robotics Summit and Expo, a relatively new robotics uh, event which was launched in 2018 and running again June 5th and 6th, 2019 in Boston, Massachusetts. You might ask yourself, what's, what's the purpose of having yet another robotics event? And that'd be a very good question because there are a number of them, but the Robotics Summit is fundamentally different than anything else that's out there. And I'll tell you why. This is an exciting time for robotics. If any time you're looking at the news uh, or certainly in any of the industry press, whether it's technical press or business press or even the gadget media, robotics seem to be everywhere. But actually there is a problem for all of that growth and all of that investment and all the great news that you're seeing is actually the scope of the robotics opportunity exceeds what people are able to deliver now in, in terms of commercial class robotics systems. And one of those is uh, the fact that there aren't dedicated forums focused on the development of commercial class robots, but commercial class robotic systems that are being used by companies for real businesses that are making real money. And hence, we've launched the Robotics Summit back in 2018 just to address this problem, to bring together some of the brightest minds in the world in one place and at one time to speak the language of business and commercial development and technical development for commercial class robots. We are targeting this event or addressing this subject in, in four different tracks, and it follows basically the design life cycle of commercial robotics products. So we have a track just focused on the technologies used to build these robotic systems, as well as some of the tools and platforms that can be used to build robotic systems. We have a track on design and development. So once you have the tools in hand and the technologies in hand, what methodologies and practices do you put in place in order to build these robust systems that be able to, to, to can be sold uh, at a profit and make and drive your business forward. And then certainly issues related to manufacturability. Again, this is a topic that is not covered in many of the other events that run out there. Once you have the prototype done, how do you move it into, into production? So if you look back at the 2018 Robotics Summit event, uh, it was extremely successful almost in any way that you can imagine it. About 63% of the attendees were engineers or engineering management. We did have members of events technology groups join us, as well as investors, as well as uh, members of the academic community and a variety of others. But primarily, they're mostly engineers and engineering management because the Robotics Summit is an engineering event. Some of the companies that attended the Robotics Summit are some of the largest companies and most well-known brands in the world. Examples would include FedEx or United Technologies, Gillette, uh, UPS, DHL, Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, and there was a number of other companies that joined us. We also had members of the academic community, some of the leading uh, robotics development communities in the world. We had representatives from MIT, from Harvard, from Yale, University of California, Berkeley, Worcester Polytechnic Institute, and a variety of others. The 2019 Robotics Summit is gonna build on the inaugural Robotics Summit event. And it really, that demonstrated that event, a real need for having a world-class focused uh, technical conference specifically designed for those people building the next generation of commercial class robotic systems. So it gives you a chance at one time and in one place to network with the brightest mind in robotics. Some of the things that we are that we can announce for the 2019 Robotics Summit event is that there's gonna be a number of pre-event workshops. Uh, we are having a networking receptions in a number of different places, a number of different times. We are having an area where we're having international pavilions. We have a robotics career fair on the second day of the event. So those people that are looking for engineering positions with some of the best robotics companies in the world, or some of the best robotics companies in the world that are looking for engineering talent. There's opportunities there as well. And then we also have a large number of general sessions, panel sessions, and of course, keynotes. I think Dan, to your point, you know, really visualizing the need for a, a technical design conference around robotics was really highlighted in the keynotes that we've already confirmed for the show. Uh, you know, Deepu Tala, He's the GM and VP of Autonomous Machines at NVIDIA. Don Tilbury, the head of the Directorate for Engineering at the National Science Foundation. She is also a professor at the University of Michigan. We also have Lou Amadio, Principal Software Architect at Microsoft. And Kira Richardson, she's a General Manager at Microsoft. They'll be doing a, a, a dual keynote together. 
Heinrich Christensen. He's the Qualcomm Chancellor's Chair in Robot Systems and Director of the Contextual Robotics Institute. And we also have Roger Barga. He's the GM of robotics at uh, AWS. So just the, the quality of the people there is, is tremendous. They're all helping create uh, tools and technologies and platforms that are helping robotics engineers deliver a better class of commercial robots and intelligent systems. And, and really what better place in the world than Boston, one of the leading robotics clusters uh, in the world to host this technical design conference. So please join us in Boston June 5th to 6th, 2019 at the Seaport World Trade Center for two days of education, networking, and business development with thousands of the leading roboticists in the world. We look forward to seeing everybody there. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Dan or myself, or please visit the roboticsummit.com for more information.